Happy Kwanzaa. So happy Kwanzaa from the lovely island of Grenada. Well, really, it's not from the lovely island of Grenada. It's from naturally. <laughs> Nokukanda, Mutesi, whichever one you choose. Welcome to my channel. Welcome back to my channel. Welcome if you're new. Cheers. Holy Day cheers. So today is that time of the year for me. I'm a Kwanzaa baby. <laughs> yes, it works for me. Mm. If you haven't had the yellow watermelon, you done did yourself a disservice. You want to go somewhere immediately ASAP and find a yellow watermelon with seeds in it, preferably. Because it is sweeter than the red yellow watermelon could ever be. But anyway, happy Kwanzaa. Today is the first day of Kwanzaa. And um, it is unity. Today, the first day is unity. Umoja. Umoja means unity. And uh, I'm just excited from the 26th of December to January 1. It excites me every time. Now, of course, I've been living places in the world that don't really embrace it or even know about it. You know, um, Molana Karanga, many years ago, um, created created Kwanzaa, was able to put it all together. And I'm going to tell you what I love about it. And it's no, it's not a replacement for Christmas. It is not. I just try to embrace things that make sense to me. And I'm going to tell you why Kwanzaa makes sense to me. Kwanzaa makes sense to me because it's based around spiritual principles. And my whole life is uh, based around spirituality. So if it's a spiritual principle in there, the one thing that we need, I will put that at the top of the list of what we need, spiritual principles. And surely this first day that represents unity. Oh, quite a pain in my side. So unity. And our first one is Umoja. And then you got tomorrow, which is Kuji Chagulia, which means self-determination which is one of my favorite ones. When I was a grade six school teacher on the island of Antigua and Barbuda for three years, 2006 to nine, I created this um, African drum dance group. Now, no, I'm not a real African drum dancer. That would be my friend in Zinga, my sister's friend in Zinga. But I know a good dance when I see one, surely if it's to the drum. And I created this beautiful, beautiful um, African drum dance group. And I gave them the seven spiritual principles based on around Kwanzaa for the, and explain to them what each one meant. It was like a lesson plan. I included it in my lesson plan. And they were to choose the name that represent their group. And they said, Kuji Chagulia. And I was done. Self-determination. And that's just what my island children were, are today. Because they're still in my life. They're still my Facebook friends. I went to Antigua last year. This time last year, I was in Antigua on the island of Antigua, but I hadn't been there for 13 years. We're talking about unity here. And um, I met up with a few of them. Uh, two of them were police officers. One was a new police officer that just now got his stripes and jackets. And <laughs> so that's my baby. We took a picture together. And um, it was just a beautiful experience. Um, one was a chef. One was a chef. And uh, he was my little Jamaican student in Antigua. We used to always talk about Jamaican everything, from the shoes to the everything. I knew he was going to be a chef. I knew he was going to be someone great. And then my top student, she is now a beautiful mother of three kings, three beautiful sons. And um, I was so proud of them. And I'm just happy to have had 
I'm sorry, you might can hear the parang music in the background. I'm in the mood. <laughs> so um, I'm so proud of them and I'm honored to have had my hands in their upbringing. So um, I don't know, I just woke up thinking about all this this morning because I was like, well, what really is unity? You know, but I really wish that we could come really unify. I'm talking about I'm talking about unify for who we really are. Like we were born kings and queens. We're stolen Africans. Like I really, really wish we could unify in that manner. Start carrying ourselves again again, yes, I said it, as kings and queens and unifying with Africans in the motherland and Africans in the diaspora because there's a true disconnect. I don't see a unification. It's really difficult to see. Yep, I said it again. It's difficult to see. It's very, very difficult to see. Now, every opportunity I had to take full advantage of us being together, our conversations always go like this. They'll say, and I lived in two different parts of Africa, they'll say, well, the African stolen, which is us, um, they don't really like us. And I'll say, wow, that is the most ignorant I've ever heard because I am one of them. And I'm surely not falling into that category that you're speaking of. Now, I understand what they're saying. There's a true disconnect. Like I said, it's difficult for me to see the connection. We need to see the connection. We need to feel the connection. I wonder if we'll ever get back there. I wonder if Africa will ever really open the doors and make it pleasurable or exciting for us to come back home. I wonder when uh, the white people... Um, start making their apologies because I've seen a few of them try to apologize for the whole slaughtering of our people. But when you apologize, it's usually a behavior that comes behind. At least that's what I was taught. Either you're going to make amends and make it right or, or something. That's what amends is about, making it right. So at least provide us with information on where you took our people, where you dropped them off. Maybe we can start connecting somewhere. Uh, maybe we as a people can start taking our names back. That would be nice. That would be nice. Taking our names back. Understanding our culture. Because one thing I learned in um, Africa when I lived there, South Africa and East Africa will always be embedded in my heart because the one thing I got from them was tradition and culture is everything. Once you steal a person's tradition and culture from them, language, education, religion, we ain't even gonna go there, tradition and culture, you've reduced them to nothing. That's why they can view us like we're nothing because we're not interested in taking it back hmm. anyway that's what unity is for me so it would be nice if you guys would share some of your uh unity experiences even if it's a one word or a one line what is unity to you because that's what today is about umoja habari gani habari gani is what's the news what's the news and you respond, call and respond, and you respond with Umoja. So, <laughs> can y'all hear that? <laughs> yes, unity. So share some of your unification experiences. If nobody's told you they love you today, I want to be one of the first. You are loved, and uh, I would have been on the beach this lovely morning, but um, plans change. Spirit told me to stay and just um, have my fruit <laughs> and my moringa. 
Moringa is what took me off of blood pressure and cholesterol meds. And I'm forever grateful. Love and respect, people. Have a blissful week. I may be back two or three times this week because Kwanzaa got some serious spiritual principles. Love you. Coming to you from the island of Grenada. Full joy.